Okay, I'm here backside of the off-grid cabin, and I'm back here because, as you know, I'm going to be installing a direct vent heater, and the location for the pad for the propane tank is going to be back here. Uh, to code, it has to be 16 feet. The tank has to be 16 feet from the outlet of the direct heater, which is around the other side of the building there. And another code issue is that the propane tank can't be within three feet of a window. So I've got a window right there. I don't know if you can see that. And I've measured out three feet here to the edge. So I'm going to remove some of the topsoil here, bring in some gravel, and create a bed where I can set down a couple of patio stones on which the propane tank will sit. stone the tank can sit on this one but if the installer doesn't like the location he can have his choice to move it out here a little bit as well so there we go roughed in and to be finalized in the coming week I've got to do several steps myself which includes cutting a wall a hole through the wall um, and once I've got that hole cut in, I've got to uh, take some of the mounting brackets and install those. And that's where I'm going to stop. And I believe it's either sometime later this week or sometime next week that um, a gas fitter is going to come in and plumb the lines uh, to the propane tank. Because it's a, a wood wall, wood frame, it's called a combustible installation, a combustible wall. Um, as compared to, for example, installing the unit on a, um, a stone or a concrete foundation. And therefore, uh, this heat shield, pretty straightforward, simple name, that's the heat shield right there. I need to find some of the hardware, the bags with the hardware in it. Again, we're in Canada, so I've got one side of the book that's in English and the other side of the book that's in French. And while I can read French, to, in order to avoid errors, I will stick to my English side of the, the manual. So, heat shield goes in. There they are. Okay, so I just flipped over the unit here and there is the little package of hardware. I have the pieces that I need. I've got the heat shield, I've got the back plate, I've got the hardware. Now we're going to go cut a hole in the side of the cabin. The next phase in getting ready to hang the direct vent heater is to cut out this 11 quarter by 11 quarter square. I don't know if you can see the lines there. And I'm going to start that off by drilling the four corners. Okay. 
You do a little off-grid camp and I gotta tell you, solar is the best thing I installed. Just being able to run that vacuum cleaner. So from inside I've run a long screw outside the wall and there you can see that's where that top corner is. We have a big hole in the cabin. New hole. Let's get back inside and see if we can fit that heat shield and the bracket. Okay, now we're going to get the hanging bracket on the heat shield. Okay, so there's a series of washers and I'm not sure what to call them. These, for example, go down here. Those are going to fall out on me several times, so we're going to put those down for now. Put a washer on it through the hole here, and then a big chunk like that. So. Let's see if we can get one of these things in place. Going to be interesting. may have to take that one out and do it again because I've got a spacing issue. Alright, let's try to get the next one in. Got my mark. Hey, blue! Definitely level. Let's get this side in over here and I'm going to take that out and do it again. Hey, 
I need to put an additional spacer in here because the boards are not quite flush with the drywall. So it's not much, but it needs to be done. And we just got the truck here. hand tighten those because my bit is worn and popping around if you can see how worn that is that's all I had here today okay good 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 that is solid so now we take these two little grommets whatever they are they go in behind All right, that bracket is up. I should be able to actually get the unit and hang it. First, a little cleanup. And here's the unit out of the box, out of the wrapping. I know this may seem kind of surprising to many of you, but I find this very exciting. I'm about to hang this unit on the wall. And just for everybody to know, there are two by fours running on each side and the bracket secured into that. Yeah, these need a little bit of tightening, not much. Okay, that's all tight. Let's get these other ones in. I've got these two little screws. Up comes the unit. Oh, that's gonna be fantastic. Underneath, which you guys aren't going to be able to see, but underneath, got to get two in. See me down below, but you're not going to see the actual screw going in. Oh, okay. I think that looks pretty good. There are the controls up top, ignition, setting. Anyways, I think that looks awesome. Look at it hanging there on the wall. That's gonna provide more than enough heat here. I'll have a tank sitting out the back side of the uh, cabin, and uh, that's, gonna fend, that's gonna provide more than enough heat uh, for this little cabin set up here and keep me warm on the days that I come out, lunchtime, maybe uh, an early uh, dinner kind of thing. So it looks awesome. Okay, can you see the back side there? That's the unit installed on the inside, looking at it from the outside here. And the gas fitter is gonna be here sometime later this week or next week. So what I'm gonna do is just close this sucker back up I'm out here early at the reboot property. Sun's coming up. 
over there in the east. Cold day out here. Minus 6 degrees to start the day. You can see a little frost on the gate here. Minus 7 degrees this morning. Got to get this tank emptied. Playing with a little bit of fire up here in Canada because as you can see in there, the ice, the cold air has arrived. So therefore, got to get this thing empty before it totally freezes and cracks the tank. Beautiful late fall day out here. Blistering early morning sunlight and a nice frost on the ground. Got a crew here, everyone, from Jim Stoddard's, a Smith Falls company here in eastern Ontario, and they're installing the uh, gas fitting for the new heating system. So as you saw early in the video, I hung the direct vent heater, an Ashley product, and these guys being professionals, are in the process of putting the uh, propane fittings on there for the gas. It's going to go right through the wall there um, and then on a line that you're going to see around the back side of the building to some tanks outside that sit back there. All to code and something that will give me some heat when I'm out here during the day and I want a break from the shop. So that's where the line is going to end there and you can see the pad that I put in place for the tanks to sit on or the tank to sit on. Now they can't finish the work today because unfortunately my tank is not ready. So sometime in the next 7 to 14 days these guys will come back. Uh, we'll get the tank hooked up. They'll do a test of the system, make sure there are no leaks and then it'll be ready to go for the winter. Okay, it's another beautiful day out here at the Woodland Reboot. Moving forward with trying to complete the direct vent heater installation on the little off-grid cabin here. As you can see, I've got myself a nice 40-pound tank that is full of propane, so, so it is not light. Hey everyone, it's another chilly day out here at the Reboot, start the day. The boys are here from Stoddard's to complete the hookup of the uh, propane direct vent heater system. Alright, the guys just finished working in terms of attaching the system and testing it. So just attached, they've done the testing. That does not touch. There's clearance there as you can see. And if you listen closely, you can hear the gas flowing down the line. Let's head inside and check it out. So here we are. And I don't know if you can see in there. Oh, yeah. See the element burning away? A nice amount of heat coming out of here right now. There we go. You can see that it, uh, it made it up to 20 degrees Celsius. So right around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Very comfortable inside here. Took it about an hour and 15 minutes to get there. So it uh, takes a little bit of time, but once it's there, it settles in nicely. Great. It's all set up. Working beautifully. Excellent. Building a little cover for the tank and, more importantly, the regulator. Got to get that covered so that there isn't any water that becomes ice that might stop the regulator from breathing. Okay, as you can see, cover in place over the propane tank. Got a nice piece of metal on top. That'll keep the, the rain and the snow and the ice off the top of the propane tank and especially the regulator back there. Okay, everyone, that's it for the installation. 
of the direct vent heater here at the Woodland Re Reboot. The cold has my lips sticking. Thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you back for some future videos.